Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Amy and in today's video I will show you how I collect seeds from my succulent plants in an attempt to grow even more succulents because that's what I need, more plants. This is completely experimental. All the knowledge I've collected from the internet and various uh, YouTube videos. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd share my journey. I picked up this beautiful Echeveria Domingo from a local nursery. It had a little bit of rot, so I did have to take its head off um, and repot it. So luckily uh, the plant is fine. I did take the flower stem completely off as well. As you can see, there's a little bit of rot on the stem. I do have another video on my channel where I show how to remove the, the head of the plant and uh, reset it back into the soil. So if you want to see that, I'll put it up on the top right corner. Here are the new baby roots. Oh, look at them. They're so tiny. So anyway, that's a happy plant. I will put her back and carry on with the video. So what I'm using to collect the pollen is this tiny little paintbrush. It was nice and cheap. Uh, it just needs to be small enough and long enough to get inside each of the flowers. This is what the busy bees and all the beautiful bugs do. But today I am playing Mother Nature, so I'm doing it myself. I'm really trying to hold back an evil laugh. Mwahahaha. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm collecting the pollen from one flower and transferring it over to the next flower. So this will mean that the flowers will be pollinated and we'll get some lovely seed pods. This plant has been kept outside, so a lot of bugs have pollinated the bottom flowers so that means that will be completely random to what sort of cross this plant will end up being from the seeds. I store the flowers inside a brown paper bag and I label which plant it comes from. I'm now scouring my backyard for more plants that have flowers and to see what I can collect because now I'm on a complete mission to find all the seeds in my backyard. I absolutely love the flowers on the Echeveria Black Nights. Uh, I can't wait for them to open. They'll be like a bright red colour. I've got a few plants here I can collect the, the flowers from because they've dried up. So uh, yes, I'll show you one that I found that's all ready to collect the seeds. Ta-da! So this is the Pachyveria uh, Exotica. I found in the backyard that needs some definite care so I've taken it inside I am going to remove all the dead bits and obviously the flowers the dried flowers we can collect some really good seeds from there um, they're actually starting to drop seeds already it's actually dropping seeds all over my bench so I want to save all those beautiful seeds so I'm going to put it in a brown paper bag which I've labeled so I know which plant it's come from let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried collecting seeds from succulents or any plant. How did you go? Did it work? Let me know. Now it's time to collect all those seeds. So I have a sieve, some tweezers, a piece of white paper so I can see the seeds um, and a little container to store them in. So each of the flowers are nice and dry, quite crispy. So when you can actually squeeze them, they'll burst and all the little seeds will fall out. Um, there's a lot of debris from that. So to limit that, I am using tweezers to pick away what I can. And then I can tell what is seeds and what is little bits of plant, dried plant stuff. <laughs> I've now managed to remove a tiny little seed pod. As you can see here, I am trying to be gentle and you can see all those little seeds that have fallen out onto the paper so that's what I will be collecting. This is very much a tedious task so you've got to have patience when you're doing it and if you have the urge to sneeze put everything down and run. This process takes so long so uh, I'm not going to put you through that and make you watch all of it so let's just fast forward. Do 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 collecting seeds la 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 So these are all the beautiful seeds I've managed to collect from this method. The next method I will be using a sieve um, and we'll see if it how successful it is to get the little seeds out. 
I can be a little bit clumsy, so I want to avoid disaster and move these tiny little seeds out the way. So I'll be putting them in this little glass jar for keeping safe while I take some more seeds. You can already see there's hundreds of seeds collected already. So all these flowers are going to have millions of seeds. So I will be collecting one of the dried flowers and just crumbling it through the sieve just to see what I can get. Instantly I can see there's heaps of seeds that's fallen down but unfortunately a lot of it is parts of the dried flower as well which isn't ideal. We want to keep that out of the seed mix. So this is a close-up of what I've collected during this method. It is really messy. I thought for a second I could maybe, you know, pick out a few of the bits uh, with tweezers and then instantly gave up. There's, yeah, it's a, it's a messy mix, but I'll keep it in a separate jar. This is definitely the quickest way to do it and I am lazy so I'm going to continue this method. It is messy um, but it's okay, it'll be fine. I definitely underestimated how many seeds I would actually be collecting <laughs> doing this way. It's a lot of fun to watch. I end up pouring the, the messy seed mix through the sieve again uh, after I've collected it all just so I could just weed out any little bits that I possibly could. If you've made it this far through the video thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to see more please like and subscribe that would be amazing. I will see you guys next time. Bye!